Are these all the subjects? Yes, sir. I took the liberty of putting those with near-death experiences on the very top. Hey, them off. As I'm sure you are aware, Professor, subjects who are close to death are statistically more likely to have the suggestibility required for paranormal investigation, which is why, of course, I gave them special consideration. Oh, good thinking, Dwight. Traumatized coeds are a sure thing. Ooh, I like her. Oh, yes, sir. That is Cindy Campbell, a classic abandoned personality disorder. Uh, she seems guarded, but willing. And this? That is Ray Wilkins, sir. I couldn't quite figure him out, but he seemed very eager and pleased to meet me. What's this? I, it's a picture that he sent after the interview. Where did you find these kids? Sir, they're all survivors of the Stevenston County Massacre. Oh, fantastic. These kids are exactly the catalyst we need to awaken the spirits of Hell House. Um, sir, exactly how are we gonna get them up there? We'll tell them it's part of the class. We'll say, excuse me, that they're participating in a study of sleep disorders. We are gonna make history, Dwight. The first documented, unrefuted evidence of life after death. Welcome, everybody. I'm Professor Oldman. Each of you have been carefully selected to be in this class, for which you receive an automatic grade of A upon completion. Now, this year's study is insomnia. We are going to spend a weekend together where we've established a controlled environment in which we'll study your various sleep disorders. Now, I'll be passing out directions. I can do to it. Uh, no, no, I can, God, I, no I can do it. I can, I can myself do it. Now, you should all be there by 6 p.m. tonight and plan to stay through Monday. I'll see you all this evening.